What's going on guys and in today's video we're going to be talking about one of my personal favorite modifications done to this truck and that is the KD Max tune. You might be asking yourself why do you like the tune so much? One of the top reasons is it adds horsepower and torque. With the added horsepower and torque it improves the drivability of your car compared to having a stock Tacoma. When I first got this Tacoma stock and driving where I needed to go, it was constantly gear hunting. It, it's almost like it never knew where it wanted to stay or be when driving, especially living in the mountains in upstate New York, going up the mountain road, I had to floor it to get up that hill. And it's just something that I didn't enjoy personally. I, that constant having to step on the pedal so hard to just get where I needed to be was annoying, quite frankly. And I first didn't know about this tune. And once I did some research and found out about the KD Max tune, putting it on my truck was literally one of the best things I could have done for myself and for the truck. When I first got the tune installed, I was shocked on how good the truck started to drive. I wasn't expecting it and I was just so surprised. And it is honestly like you're driving a new vehicle and it does take a bit to get used to because you're used to hitting the metal to the pedal. And with this, you barely have to touch the pedal, especially when you first get it, you just touch the pedal and it's like, whoa, you're going, you're going somewhere, you know? So I love it, I love it, I love it. And we'll get into a couple different points coming up. All right, so when it comes to the tune, there's three different modes you can get. Personally, I went with the sport mode. Now, you don't have to worry all the different modes. They have the same horsepower and torque. It's just more about the accelerator response that you get with the different modes. With the sport mode, that's the quickest one. You get the quickest accelerator acceleration response. When you click on that accelerator, you're gone, you're going. And that's why I chose sport mode. Okay, when it comes to gas mileage and a tune, there's been a lot of controversy with saying, okay, does it increase your gas mileage? Does it decrease it? Or does it completely not change at all and remain the same? With my personal experience, my gas mileage has gone up two to three miles per gallon. Before my tune on this truck, I was experiencing 11 to 13 miles per gallon on a good day. Now on a good day, I'm 15 to 16 miles per gallon. And although if I am in stop and go traffic, it's around 13, but that's still better. That's what I was getting on a good day before. So because I experienced this increase in gas mileage, I wanted to see how it would affect my uh, TRD Pro Army Green at home. And with that, I added a tune to, and now I experience 21 or 19 to 21 miles per gallon, which is crazy because that one has a West Scott lift and 33 tires. So still amazing, great gas mileage, and that's on a good day. So totally good for your gas mileage. With taking everything I've said before into mind, when you want to get bigger tires, it is almost crucial to get a tune because when you get bigger tires, it's a bigger load for your truck to have to pull and, you know, get somewhere with. Like, you really got to then step on the pedal harder. So, with a tune, it supports the ability to get bigger tires. And I've experienced it firsthand where it makes it a lot better. And it's, it takes a lot of stress off your truck because it's adding that horsepower and it's torque. So it just, getting bigger tires, it's almost a necessity to get a tune. Okay, so with this tune, the number one question I get is, have I re-geared? The answer at the moment is no, I have not. Technically, I should re-gear, but right now it's not a critical necessity, I feel, and I have time to get it re-geared. Um, I do have to mention though, this is with 35s. With 33s, you would not have to re-gear at all. It's just because I'm on 35s that I should get re-geared from the stock gear. But running on the stock gear, I've had no issues and it's totally fine. I have, like I said, 
had absolutely no issues, but I will eventually get it re-geared. So if that's a question you were asking or thinking about, I am getting it re-geared, just haven't done it at the moment. And yeah, so. As for pricing with the tune, it ranges from about $450 to $500, like depending on where you go. I went to my guy in Vermont and honestly, it's one of the cheaper modifications that you could do to your truck. If I could go back and restart, completely restart this whole thing, one of the first modifications I would do is this tune. It completely changed everything and driving this truck. Okay, so this is a pretty random question I get about the tune, and that is, does the tune make the truck louder? The answer is no. It doesn't change whether or not the truck is loud or not. It's all based on if you have a exhaust, and the tune doesn't add to that or take away from that. Okay, so wrapping up the video and talking about the tune, it is one of the best performance modifications that you can do to your truck. It increases support for bigger tires. It gives you two to three miles per gallon with your gas mileage. It gets rid of gear hunting, basically eliminates it, and it's pretty affordable for a modification to a truck. And I have no doubt this will increase the longevity of my vehicle because it takes so much stress off the engine components. So if you guys have any comments, concerns, or just want to drop anything in the comment box below, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And thanks for tuning in.